Hi, this is a quick demo of what a remote can do for you on your pre. Remote lets you control iTunes. Let's launch it. I've paired up already, so this time it automatically connects to iTunes. You'll see I'm using the emulator, but the device works in exactly the same way. Well, it does take a second or so longer just to connect up to iTunes. So you see here I've got my basic controls. I can skip position, uh, change volume. I'm going to keep it down as a zero, so it doesn't get in the way of the recording. Um, skip tracks, my album art shows, I've got a skip 30 seconds button that's quite handy if I want to skip through commercials if I'm watching a video or something and I can control things like shuffle um, and you can see all of that changing pretty much instantly on iTunes. New in version 0.2 is the ability to uh, control track from the artwork so we can skip to the next track we can also tap on it to go full screen and tap back down and of course you can go backwards as well but more fun is let's have a look at playlists we've got all the playlists here from the kind of overall playlist this has got all my music in the entire computer loaded up on it um, and down we've got things like recently played, one's automatically generated by iTunes, and playlists like my playlist right here. So I can shuffle this playlist or play the whole playlist. Let's shuffle it now. I've got the play pops to main preference option turned on, so as soon as I play an album, it pops back to the main setting. So let's go and look again. But this time let's do, you can see um, artists, you can see albums. Um, we can see genres. Uh, we can also do a search. And we can search in exactly the same way. So we can search for tracks. And there's pulling up all the tracks names with yellow in them. Um, or I can search for an artist. Search for Adele. And I could play the whole album or I could just play a single track. And I'll pop the cold shoulder. And that is remote. There you go.